Semco offers two types of SEM kits, barrier style and injection style, which are used to package and mix two component sealants, adhesives, and other paste materials. The type of kit selected is based on the mix ratio requirements of the material. If mix ratio is less than 10 to 1, then a barrier kit is preferable. If the mix ratio is greater than 10 to 1, then an injection style SEM kit is recommended. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to mix an injection style SEM kit. After determining what type of SEM kit you have, the next step is determining how to mix the material. Semco offers the end user three options to mix a SEM kit, including a 388 mixer, 285 mixer, and the option to mix by hand. In this video, we will be using a Semco 388 mixer. The Semco 388 mixer should be used to achieve the most consistently mixed material. The Semco 388 mixer reduces the strain on operators and diminishes the likelihood of variance or errors. Along with the purchase of your Semco 388 mixer is an operator's manual that references the guide on screen. Review this guide and identify the corresponding spindle and upper stroke rod for your SEM kit. This chart can also be found on the left side of the Semco 388 mixer. In preparing for your application, observe the necessary personal protection equipment measures, such as safety glasses and gloves. As part of the setup for the Semco 388 mixer, you will need to plug the mixer into an electrical socket. Next, insert the air valve into a regulated air supply. Set regulator to 90 PSI. Rotate the Semco 388 mixer to observe the air regulator on the back of the machine. While the machine is in operation, pull knob out of the locked position, set to 10 PSI, and return knob to locked position. In preparation for mixing the two component material, the catalyst must be injected into the base. Use the black ramrod to push on the piston in the dasher rod which opens the valve allowing the catalyst to flow into the base material. The catalyst should be injected into the base material in thirds. One third at the top of the base material, one third in the center section, and one third at the bottom section. Injecting the catalyst into the base evenly will increase the likelihood of a thorough mix, allowing the end user to maintain the application properties. Remove the flange cap on the SEM kit. Then remove the air cylinder cap assembly from the slide plate and insert SEM kit rod end first through the mounting hole in the slide plate. Pull dasher rod down into pins of drive spindle. Grasp cartridge firmly and pull down until it is fully seated. Next, install and lock the air cylinder cap assembly. Turn the switch to automatic and set the top switch to mix. Observe the instructions on the SEM kit mixing bag for the amount of time required to mix and set the timer accordingly. Make sure to turn the dial past the 5 minute mark and then return to the required time to mix. Fine tune downstroke screws so that the dasher just makes contact with the plunger. Hold manual up poppet valve for a few seconds to confirm the fine tuning adjustment has positioned the dasher so that it just makes contact with the plunger. Hold in the upstroke and downstroke manual buttons for a few seconds on each kit to ensure a thorough mix. Unlock and remove the air cylinder cap assembly, returning to the storage clip position in the rear of the Semco 388 mixer. Remove the dasher rod from the drive spindle. Lift SEM kit through the slide plate. Do not overmix materials. If the SEM kit instructions on the bag call for one and a half minutes, this is sufficient time to thoroughly mix the material. As a caution, Class B aerospace sealants can lose some of their thixotropic properties when overmixed. Semco has several pneumatic and manual dispensing guns to choose from, as well as standard and specialty nozzles. To maximize your efficiency, select tools tailored for your application. For more information, please visit our website at www.semcopackaging.com or call 1-800-AeroMix.